No, it is on. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me also add my words of welcome to what Kishor Desai has already said. I have very little to add to what Kishore has said, so maybe a few very, very limited words. As Kishore just told you, this is a publication that has been brought out by the Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee Foundation. There are three people who are editors, co-editors of this book. Dr. Anirban Ganguly, Kishore Desai and I. Dr. Anirban Ganguly would have been here, but for the fact that he is not particularly well, so both of us apologize on his behalf. 51 papers by 56 authors, because there are co-authors. Not all of these people work for the government. Several of them are from outside government. But to endorse what Kishore said once again, that criticism of the government is welcome as long as that criticism is informed criticism. Most of the time when we criticize the government for its lack of reforms, whatever be the definition of reforms, we have our own subjective preferences, our own subjective determinants as to what constitutes reform and what does not. And in the process of doing this, we therefore ignore several other things that the government, which remember is a union government, has done. So this book was meant to be a stock-taking exercise, and those 51 papers were clustered under three different heads. One was a broad overview, not just an economist overview, the second one, the bulk of the chapters were in the second category, were chapters that broadly pertained to development, governance, physical infrastructure, social infrastructure, the legal system. And the third segment was called an outside view, which is perceptions by the external world, relationships with the external. As some of you present here probably know, this book was formally launched not very long ago by the finance minister and the first copy was handed over to the president. A formal launch is not a very convenient place to have a sensible discussion on a book. In fact, it isn't a place to have a discussion on the book. Certainly for a book as diverse and heterogeneous as this, where you have 51 different papers. So therefore, we had a chat about this, and the Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee <coughs> Foundation decided that we would now organize panel discussions in various places, Delhi being the first. But let me stress, that the panel discussions are not going to be restricted and confined to Delhi, there will be panel discussions in other places also. And we also decided that the three co-editors should keep quiet because the panel discussions in these different geographical places belong to the panelists and the panelists by definition are the paper writers. We cannot have 56 paper writers here at one time. So you can see some of those paper writers here. And the next time there is another panel discussion, you will see a different set of paper writers. As you have gathered, we have plenty of paper writers to rotate around. I don't think any of these gentlemen, the ladies are not, this, no, Ritika is there. So let me quickly introduce 
the panelists, although they need no introduction. Beginning on the right, Mukesh Bhutani. Then uh, we have Uttam Sinha, we have Alok Kumar, we have Sumant Bhatra, we have Harsh Pant, Kishore you know, and we have Dheeraj Nair, and right there, she is not being deliberately marginalized, is that we don't have enough space here. Ritika Singh. Each of them has written on a certain area. The program has been circulated, it's up there, and notice very clearly I am not a speaker. The speakers are the panelists. So this is all that I have to say. The only additional thing is that Dheeraj Nair has to leave a little bit early. So I shall change the order a little bit. And Alok Kumar is still catching his breath. So maybe we start with Mukesh, then Dheeraj, and then go back and forth like that. Mukesh, all yours. Please. Start